just want to briefly comment on this whole painting the Black Lives Matter in the road. I remember when I was back in elementary school and we used to mark up the ground with charcoal. We had the wash away paint where we were showing self-expression. We were drawing things, writing things on the ground, the stick figures, things like that. We did that as children. When you become adults, you're supposed to handle situations in an adult manner. You're not supposed to grab rollers and start marking up the ground, painting the ground in frustration and anger. Well, that's what black folks are doing. They actually have black people acting like children. They're treating black people like children. And you may ask, who's they? Well, those that are in control, those that fund the Black Lives Movement, those that have infiltrated the Black Lives Matter movement. Those that really don't have the black interest at heart, but is making a mockery out of you. They're exposing you for who they think black people are. And that's children. They're allowing you to work out your frustrations to get it out of your heart. And like I mentioned about a dream I had regarding a race war. And what was interesting is at the start of that dream or that vision, black people were sitting at the front of the bus. After the race war, after that dream ended or right before the dream ended, black people were sitting in the back of the bus. So while you think that you're advancing by trying to force Black Lives Matter upon people and you have certain black people that's out starting trouble with white people and then when white people lash back out at you then you label them as being a racist. These are no more than tantrums. And the Democrats are playing black people for a fool. They're allowing you to act out your tantrums. Because Donald Trump is president. So now they're painting Black Lives Matter in front of Trump Towers. To troll him, to get on his nerves. And this is no more than child play. Now, if you look at this image, they have black people at the forefront. But this is not the idea of black people. I've been an artist all my life. I draw, I paint, I do sculptures, and now I'm into photography. And I've seen a lot of artists, I've met a lot of professional artists in my day. And not one time did I ever see any black people do what's being done around the country. Not just in this image, not just in New York City. But they're acting out their tantrums. Trying to get people to accept Black Lives Matter. And they don't realize that you're only taking steps back because now you have people that's actually tired of you. If people supported you at one point, now you're finding that people don't support you. You're trying to defund police. And in Brooklyn, a one-year-old and a seven-year-old was just shot to death. The one-year-old shot in the stomach while sitting in a stroller at a cookout but I don't see anyone protesting 
because they're spending their time throwing temper tantrums by painting on the ground. Just think of how childish this is. You're not trying to get laws changed. You're not trying to stop all of this senseless killing around New York City. No, you're downtown painting Black Lives Matter in the road. That's your agenda. And after you finish painting Black Lives Matter everywhere, nothing's changed. You find yourself falling back in time. What little ground you've gained, you're now losing. So I'm not going to be on this too long. I didn't intend for it to go this long. But this is an embarrassment. This is a true embarrassment to so-called black people. Because you're treated like children. This is what the Democrat Party thinks of you. Your community is dying, literally dying, falling apart, and you're painting Black Lives Matter in front of Trump Tower to troll him. You're not trying to get laws changed, but you're painting Black Lives Matter in front of Trump Tower. You're vandalizing city property. This is what they are allowing you to do. Keep in mind at the money that's being spent for this, for these senseless protests. But yet, you're denied reparations. A lot of black people don't have a place to stay. They're homeless. Or they have drug issues. I have no more to say. Until next time. I'm fearless.